What's a fun little fact about yourself? I have mastered moving my eyes independently because when I was six a Discovery Channel video of a chameleon told me I couldn't do it. Apache helicopter pilots are trained to do this. Difficult, but doable. Not a skill I've been able to learn. Edit. Apparently when I originally learned this, I was either told incorrect information, or I misinterpreted when it meant to control each eye independently, taking in instrument readings with one eye from a helmet-mounted display, and lo. Poking at external conditions with the other. According to people on here I had the idea for Pokemon Go back when it was an April Fool's joke on Google Maps. I have perfect vision in my left eye, but horrible vision in my right eye. Is your right eye considered a lazy eye? I have that problem. Do you also have mild depth perception issues? Mine isn't bad but I definitely have to look at each step I take while going up the stairs. My hair, eyebrows and beard are all naturally different colors. My hair is blonde, eyebrows dark brown and my beard ginger. Also for anyone interested, my pubes are also ginger. Edit, details. Top down, brown, black, reddish. I can plug my nose with my lips. It's a watertight seal so I use it when I swim which means I look ridiculous while swimming. I can understand that. Just tried it and I'm sure I look like an idiot, but yeah, I get it. I have a tooth in the roof of my mouth. I had no idea it was there until I was 17 and my dentist was baffled. They refuse to remove it because they say it's not hurting me. My mother had it too, she didn't remove it either. Braces were enough to bring it back to its correct position. Amazing. I was born in 2010 of October 1010 in the morning. I even came to front page on newspaper about it in 2010. I was born on July 7th at 7.51 and weighed 7 pounds and 7 ounces. I can independently control my uvula. I misread this in a terrible way. I write in my journal every day since 2009, so I have an account of all my thoughts since the past 10 years, and I can see how I grew as a person since I was 15. Sometimes I cringe when I read something from back then. Those are treasures though. I turned 11 on the 11th of November 11. Edit, the 11th of November 11 for the non-Americans. Did you get Skyrim for your birthday? I have no sense of smell and never had. Whenever I tell this to people, their response falls into one of three categories. That's so unfortunate. You don't know how good X smells. You're so lucky. You don't have to know how X smells. So if I fart in your face you won't notice. I've yet to receive a different response aside from those, and you'd be surprised how many unrelated people told me N.3, it's impressive lol. Feel for you, dude. Lost my sense of smell and taste from a concussion almost six months ago. I imagine it's easier to have never been able to smell than have the sense for 50 plus years and then lose it. I have central heterochromia, which means that both of my irises have two colors in form of concentric rings. While complete heterochromia, each eye equals different color, is noticed by people, central confuses people. If I ask anyone if she knows what color my eyes are, nobody knows. Like the brain can't decide what it's all laughing face. Every time when I am asked what color my eyes are, I say, you tell me. I get blue, green, brown, hazel, or an occasional WTF. I don't have heterochromia of either type, I just have weird irises that seem to be mottled, and different light brings out different colors. All my siblings have blue eyes. My license says blue, but they look brown in the photo. I can cry or throw up on command. Edited to say, or, instead of, and. Too many complaints about wording. I can also throw up on the spot. Haven't found a good use for it just yet. I can touch my elbows together. The wrong way. Oh my. So many images running through my head. I turned legal drinking age in the place where I lived at the time three times in my life. First when I was 16. Then when I was 17 they increased the legal age to 18. So I turned legal drinking age again when I was 18. When I was 20 I moved to where legal drinking age is 21, so I had to wait a couple of months again. This happened to my brother in New York State. At one point, he was working for a beer distributor when he became unlegal again. I have no pericardium. When I was 6 months old, I had bad acid reflux, and DRs were concerned about damage to my esophagus. One CT scan later, my esophagus was okay. But they saw a hole in my pericardium, which is the sac of protective fat around the heart. 
Now this is a problem because as I would grow up, my heart could start to grow through the hole, and choke itself at some point, killing me out of the blue. So at 7 months old I had heart surgery. They went in all ready to patch the hole. Only to find what had looked like a hole on the scan, was actually the pericardium. All of it had formed at least. I am one of 23 people at that time, if I remember correctly, who had been found to have this while al. I've, and not post-mortem during autopsy. They removed the small piece that was all that had formed on gestation, so I have no pericardium. It does not affect me negatively in any way, and I am immune to pericardial diseases, not that many exist to my knowledge. I tried to get into a military academy, so had to see a cardiologist to get certification that it was a non-issue. He confirmed I could do anything I wanted, heart health-wise. DODMERB didn't change the decision though. TLDR, I don't have a sack of fat around my heart unlike most people. Edit, frack this blew up. Thought it would get buried. First post to get more than 50 upvotes, and I only stopped being a lurker and make an account a few weeks ago. I'll try to answer the questions I can, but be aware I'm no medical professional. Damn it Jim, I'm an engineer, not a doctor. Edit 2, added note about DODMERB decision, they didn't change their mind. Still had a gestational heart defect in their minds. I still have a large scar below my man boob and three small parallel lower down from endoscope, exploratory I was told. I can fit an entire double cheeseburger in my mouth. McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King tested. Edit, I'll post a video of this in a few hours so maybe check back in if you really want to see lol. Edit 2, rip reddit anonymity. I guarantee you that this is a fetish for someone out there. I can draw the map of Middle Earth from memory alone. I also remember the opening lyrics of every single cartoon I watched as a child. Talk about selective memory. Oh my. That's very good. I remember very little never mind my childhood. I have time-space synesthesia. My mother also experiences it, and there have been studies done that do suggest it's genetic. I cannot even comprehend that. Probably exactly like you probably cannot imagine what it must be like for people who do not have it. That is really fascinating. I tied on the world record of the smallest paper ship ever folded smiley face, in 1992 my ship was 2 mm in length. Also I folded a paper plane with a span width of 2 mm. Edit, wow thanks, never thought this one to get such an attention smiley face, I'm very sad to tell that it was basically in. Possible for me to photograph them when I was 11 sad face, makes me ever sadder as to think how easy it would be nowadays. Following happened to them, I put them in a small glass tube and showed around along with a loop. People loved them. Then I forgot it for a few years and when I tried to have a look at them again, they simply disappeared. See, my theory is that since I didn't use gloves, sweat and acids decomposed them over time. I was heartbroken to say the least. I still love billing small things though. Like a 3 cm Bassetta star, module origami, 1 24th scale ukulele and stuff. Web links. JPEG another pic of unfinished ones, web links and thanks for the silver smiley face. Thanks so much all you made my day. How fucking tiny are your hands? Every time I get out of the shower and put on my new underwear I slap my butt cheeks. I can shake my eyes back and forth really fast for an indeterminate amount of time. CR, eye shakers. Edit, this is my own post to that sub. Hey wow I can do that too. I don't think I've known anyone else who can do that. I still got milk teeth. I'm 19. I had 4 baby teeth when I was 17. Dentist was like, nah, fuck this shit. 2 minutes later, I had no baby teeth. Adult teeth just moved right on in afterwards. It's like they were just being polite and patiently waiting for the baby teeth to pop out. I'm physically incapable of feeling dizziness. I used to spin myself in my dad's computer chair until I was dizzy but then would spin myself in the other direction to see if it negated the dizziness I felt. It never worked sad face. In the year 2045, I will be 67 and my birthday will be January 23rd 45 and I will be 67. Throwing a big party. Edit, yes you all can come, bring a hot dish. Also if you add 01 plus 23 plus 45 it equals 69. I have a small patch of perfectly white hair just above my cooch. It was once described as looking like my vagina was cosplaying as Rogue from X-Men. 
So, a super-powered badge that absorbs genital memories of whatever it comes into contact with. 50% of the time, I can get all the coins in Super Mario 3, World 1 to 4, resulting in the appearance of the white mushroom shop. Edit, I stand corrected, I said ghost ship, I meant white mushroom shop. I do both but I'm proud of the 1 to 4 challenge. 1 to 3 is where you get the secret whistle, for those correcting the level. 50% of the time you do it every time. All four of my wisdom teeth are fully grown in, zero pain or discomfort. Never have to get them removed. Edit, make sure you clean your wisdom teeth very well people cause they can apparently very easily decay over time due to them being hard to reach. I once held 14 world records in SSX 2012. Edit, thanks for all the questions and comments. Great to meet SSX players on here. I see some gamers are worried about arthritis, just be aware of it. If your hands are hurting then take a break, easy to say I know. Don't ignore the signs. Nice. I love that game. Dug out my old PS3 to play it not so long ago. I was never any good but it's fun as fuck, and music is on point. Sue Perkins once said I was a good drummer. Edit, well this blew up. Story is I basically auditioned for a TV show called Band for Britain where they wanted to put a traditional coal. Lyrie Brass Band back together in some dead end ex mining town in Yorkshire. I went along, played a bit of kit, and was offered a place on the training band but couldn't make it every week. Beyond the brief statement from Sue, I appeared in the show for all of about 4 seconds. Bonus content. The guy with the dreads who auditioned for drums got into the band, but I believe he got kicked out later. He did however turn up on TV again when he was a contestant on Take Me Out. I used to share a practice room with him. Did she see you playing live with a band? I am adored by cats for no seeming reason, and hated by dogs for no seeming reason. I have had random dogs attack me on the street completely unprovoked on multiple occasions. One time I was walking in a crowded street and I heard extremely distant angry barking. I look over my shoulder and I see this tiny white speck in the distance coming from an uphill street ways, ways away from me. I walk a little further and the barking gets louder, I turn around and the dog is even closer, looks like it's running straight for me. But like, I'm in such a dense crowd, how the heck would it see me? Why would it care about me at all? So I'm like, nah, no way, and walk on a bit more, the barking comes super close. I look back just in time to see the same damn dog, make its way through the crowd, barking and snarling towards me and I ended up having to fight it off with my bag. That was the weirdest one, I've had dogs attack me in a similar way so many times over the years. I'd pass them by minding my own business, often not even realizing they were there, and they'd suddenly come barreling after me. I've had so many people swear to me that the dogs are normally sweet and nice and never attack people. I'm not evil or menacing or anything, I don't think. I even love dogs, but they hate me. Only one dog has ever liked me in my entire life, it's my co-worker's schnauzer and I would die for that. Dog, I always spoil him whenever my co-worker has to bring him to work, laughing face. Perhaps you are part cat, so the cats recognize you as one of their own and the dogs think you are prey. I beat cancer, twice. Two completely separate and unrelated cancers. Hoping there is no, third time's the charm. Edit, thanks for the gold and silver. Second edit, sorry, but I want to give a shameless shout out to the Cancer Hope Network. Great organization that puts people who are diagnosed with cancer, in touch with someone else who has experienced that same cancer, to help them through this difficult time. If you, or someone you know is going through a battle with cancer, I would highly recommend reaching out to them. The emotional stress and worry of being diagnosed with cancer is often not spoken about. Talking with someone who has walked in your shoes, can really help. Your body was like, N.O. I constantly hear music in the back of my mind, like background music when you watch a movie. The tune is always dependent on my my mood. I don't hear, it per se, but I always have a song, playing, in my head. Sometimes it changes based on something I see or hear, but most of the time it's random, and it's not always songs I actually like. 